Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're taking a look at this uh, D-Link AX4800 uh, Wi-Fi router. And this is the Wi-Fi 6. Uh, previously, I did use the previous generation of Wi-Fi and I was thinking what could be the big major difference in the Wi-Fi 6 here and the 6E coming out. But definitely if your smartphone supports uh, 6 and 6E, uh, you're gonna see a huge difference and uh, when you're doing a speed test, definitely the numbers are going way up there for sure. So before we get to the testing and everything else, uh, and also we're gonna check out the app that D-Link has here as well. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the box here, some of the things that uh, this claims that it can do. So we're looking at 2.4 gigahertz, it says up to 90% faster, and five gigahertz up to 142% faster. So taking a look at some of the features here, if you want to pause the video, you can uh, view some of the features this has here. So let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and open up the box and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, hook this up and see what kind of speeds we get there. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and connected everything. So, and also I did do some testing here. I have an iPhone 12 Pro and the Pixel 4 XL here. Uh, obviously the 12 Pro here does have the Wi-Fi 6 and this one does not, the Pixel 4 XL here. And we can see some difference here actually. So while I was doing the test and uh, not nearby the Wi-Fi router, a little bit further away, we're getting 574 download and 32 upload. And while with the iPhone here, I'm getting 733 download and 32 upload. So upload is kind of like the same thing uh, for both, but download definitely a big difference here for sure. But definitely does beat my old router even before I do have a one gig connection and I was getting around uh, 300, around that three, 400 range. But with this, definitely I'm getting way more. For sure so the this router definitely it's doing its job and those uh, percentage that it claims it can do it kind of can and like it says it can do like 140 percent better on five gigahertz probably that's not true but definitely a big difference here when we're comparing the download and upload numbers here so right now what i want to do is do some real-time testing i do have the d-link uh, router connected and everything it's around 40 50 feet away from me and there is concrete walls all around me so definitely that uh, will take into effect when it comes to speed tests or any download and upload speeds for sure so first we're going to go ahead and test on the iphone here and just to see what kind of speeds we get So definitely very, very impressive. I'm getting 308 download and uh, 31 upload. So this is actually very impressive. Comparing this to my old router, the ASUS 80, AC86U, I believe that's the model. And uh, I was getting around the 30, I would be lucky to get around like 30 and I had to have a mesh system like connected nearby just to like be able like to get some decent speeds. But with this, without any mesh, the Wi-Fi router is kind of far away from me right now. And there's like walls, concrete walls all around and I'm getting very good speeds here. But this one is using the Wi-Fi 6. So let's just go ahead and check with the Pixel 4 XL here and see what kind of speeds we get with this one. So let's go ahead and click go here.
And the test is done for the Pixel 4 XL here with the 211 download and 32.8 upload. It's not better than the iPhone 12 Pro here, but it's actually very good comparing it to my old router. This is definitely a big, big improvement because I had to use a mesh system just in order to get the, these kind of speeds here before in these rooms here. When I'm looking at the speeds here, definitely I'm very impressed. And uh, right now I wanna go ahead and show you how the app works, uh, just so you get an idea what kind of features that has. So here we have the app and everything opens up uh, very quickly and it's easy to set up. Uh, the Wi-Fi router comes with its own QR code, so setting up, it was a breeze, no issues at all. And here, if I go on the sites, so we have installed new devices, login, local devices, app settings and help. And uh, also it does have download and upload speed here. What this means is it's doing its testing from the modem to the router. So that way if you're ever having any issues with uh, slow load speeds, like in your PC, you can quickly test your modem and router just to make sure it's not coming, uh, the slow speed, uh, like it's not coming directly from the modem. So you can do that test very quickly here. So if I wanna go further into the settings, I'll just have to click network here. We're gonna go ahead and click the router. And here we have wizard, Wi-Fi, internet, guest Wi-Fi, clients, parental control, management, and cloud services. The UI here seems a little bit boring. Hopefully they can upgrade this in the future just to look a little bit more modern here. But everything is very functional in a way. So under the Wi-Fi here, pretty much we're able to change the Wi-Fi name, password, and all that stuff here. Also set up a schedule if you want to. Uh, nothing that impressive, but if you want even further more settings, uh, you're able to log in through the IP from your PC to get even more settings. And if I go under the internet, these are the some of the settings we have here. And uh, going back, you're able to set up a guest Wi-Fi as well. And if I go clients here, I'm able to see whatever is connected to the Wi-Fi router. And we also have the parental controls here, which I didn't set up any of those. And uh, under management here, we're able to see the firmware version and everything else here. Some of the like status LEDs and uh, you can reboot your router straight from here. So if I go under about, uh, this is the current version that we're running, 1.04. And uh, we also have cloud services. So you're also able to connect this uh, through your Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. So whenever we're comparing a new Wi-Fi, like the Wi-Fi 6 here, and comparing to the last generation, we don't think that there's like a big improvement, no need to upgrade. But the thing is, if you're facing low speeds uh, with your current uh, router, uh, I would definitely give this a try because uh, before, with my last generation Wi-Fi, I used to get around like the 30, like 50, like max in, in this room with the Wi-Fi router alone. And with this, I'm able to get like two, 300 megabytes a second for like no issues at all. And I don't even need to hook up a mesh system in my room anymore either. Hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you guys have any questions about this uh, router here. Uh, definitely when it comes to speeds, uh, this is no disappointment. And uh, this has tons of features. And But mainly, if I'm watching a review, I wanna see the speed tests and how that performs mainly. And uh, pretty much I think I covered that part. But if you guys have more questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer it. I'll see you guys on the next video.